How would you like to see the most unethical roofing bid sheet I have ever seen in my entire career? Yeah, I thought that would get your attention. Hi, I'm Tim Carter, AskTheBuilder.com. Let's get started. You may wonder what is a roofing bid sheet? A roofing bid sheet is a document that allows you to discover a professional roofer who is going to put on your roof for the best possible price. That's what you want, right? You want a pro and you want it done for a fair price. Let me give you some background on this video, but before we do, understand that at my askthebuilder.com website, I have created a column for you that goes into a lot more detail about this topic, and I urge you to go to askthebuilder.com, type in roofing bid sheet, and you'll find and discover that column. While you're there, you might want to sign up for my free newsletter. It's really, really a, a fun thing I do each week. I, it's the most fun thing I do each week, so um, sign up for that newsletter. Let me give you some background. A few days ago, a really good friend of mine, a fellow amateur radio operator, called me and she had previously texted me asking if she could call because she was very upset. A roofing contractor had just left her home. Uh, he had been there for two hours, okay, trying to twist her arm to sign a contract. She did not sign it. And the number that she received for the quote to re-roof her home took her breath away. And you're going to see why in just a moment. Let me give you some of the facts. Her house is pretty small. It's not that big. Uh, it's only about 13 squares. That's pretty small. Uh, many, many homes are 15 to 20 squares and bigger homes, of course, have a lot more than that. So 13 squares is not much. While she was on the phone talking, I quickly got online, I went to a home center website, I discovered what new shingles cost. To make a long story short, I did a very fast material takeoff, and I figured that her sh materials would cost about $1,700. bucks, And that's 2020 prices. Uh, I'm recording this video here in March of 2020. Uh, she's going to have a dump fee. So they've got to get rid of about six to ten cubic yards of waste. So that's going to be three, four, five hundred bucks. And I figured it would take maybe two days to do the job. Four or five guys on the crew. That's probably about three thousand to thirty-five hundred dollars. So, and by the time you add all of the uh, profit overhead things like that, you might get somewhere between seven to eight thousand dollars for this job. That would probably be a fair price. And but that's not what her price was. Let's take a look and see what it was. Can you believe this unethical roofing bid sheet? Number one, you can barely read the person's handwriting. It's not even a contract. It's it's this odd addendum to work order. Uh, this is something that a homeowner might have to sign if there was some uh, problems on the job and the contractor encountered something he didn't expect. But this is not what you would use to give the original quotation for a job. It's really, really a horrible thing. And look at the price. $19,000, almost $20,000 to do a 13 square roof. It's criminal in my opinion. This, this is so unethical. It's not illegal. Understand, it's not illegal. Uh, you know, if you enter into a deal with somebody, um, you know, you've got to protect yourself. So, but it's very unethical. And let me show you now what a really good roofing bid sheet looks like. So a really professional roofing bid sheet is one that's a multi-page document. The roofing contractor has to fill out his name and address and all this other information. He's got to answer a bunch of questions. And remember, each roofing contractor that's bidding your job answers the same questions. Of course, they have to supply you with a workman's comp certificate, their insurance certificate, uh, some references. And to make a long story short, here's what's going to happen. Here's how you can easily identify the pro. When you hand this document to a professional, he's going to look at it. And typically, the first question he's going to ask you is, are you making everybody else fill this out? And when you answer yes, he's going to get a smile on his face because he knows that he's going to look really good and his number is going to be a really good number. 
So a professional will gladly fill out this form. If you have a contractor that says, I'm not filling this out, that's exactly what you want to know because they're trying to hide something. So that's really one of the easy ways that you will use the roofing bid sheet to find a pro. The bad people, the unscrupulous roofing contractors, they do not want to fill this form out. Not at all, because it's going to make them look bad. And one of the neat things in this roofing bid sheet is that they have to provide a simple material breakdown. So this makes sure that each of the roofing contractors is figuring the right amount of material and they're all figuring to do the same thing. So you want to make sure that happens. So where would you get a bid sheet like this? They're out there. I, I've had this one available for, gosh, 25 years. So all you have to do is to type this into the internet and you'll find it. Go.askthebuilder.com slash roofing bid sheet. I'm not trying to sell this bid sheet to you right now. I'm just trying to let you know that it's available and you can maybe find one similar to it. Uh, whatever it is, just use one and believe me, you will find the pro. If you have any questions about the roofing bid sheet, just go to my askthebuilder.com website, use the Ask Tim page and ask me the question. I'll do my best to answer it. Uh, I would love to hear your comments here under the video as well, too. While you're at the website, be sure to sign up for my newsletter. I have a lot of fun doing it. Okay, good luck on your roofing job. Make sure you use a roofing bid sheet, one that you supply. Don't get one of the scammy ones like you saw earlier in the video. I'm Tim Carter, askthebuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.